Welcome to the HIA Timesheets tutorial video for apprentices. In this video, you will learn how to log into online timesheets system, change your temporary password, enter allowances, create or submit timesheets, view timesheets which are previously created or submitted, resubmit rejected timesheets, view your placement information and on the spot timesheet approval. To begin, open the welcome email you received, and keep a note of the username and password. Then, click on the link in the email, to open the HI Apprentices Timesheet login page. On the login page, make sure that the user type is set to employee. If it's not, just click on the user type drop down, and select employee. Next, enter the username and password you received via email, and then click login. When you first log in, you will be prompted to change your temporary password. Simply enter the new password in the available fields and press save. The new password is saved and the change password dialog closes. To create a new timesheet, click on the Create Timesheet tab, and then click on the Create Timesheet button. You will get a notification each time you create a new timesheet. Click OK to close the notification. Begin entering the number of hours you worked for the specified date under the hours column. If you have worked for same number of hours for the complete pay period, click the copy down button to autofill hours for the rest of the days. The work type column specifies what the emptied hours in timesheet relate to. If the emptied hours are not for the default work type ordinary, click on the drop down and select the applicable work type. For the same day, if you have worked for more than one work type, enter the hours in the hours column, select the work type, and then click the plus button. An additional line gets added for that day. Now enter the remaining hours and other work type for that day. If you have entered a timesheet for previous pay period, and your current week hours and work types are exactly the same, Use the Copy Last Timesheet button to pre-fill data from the last week's timesheet. To claim any travel-related allowances for the selected pay period, add them on the timesheet. To do this, click on the Allowances section of timesheet. In this section, add allowances against the dates you want to claim. Please note that when using the Copy Last Timesheet feature, any allowances or notes entered in the previous timesheet, will be carried across to the new timesheet. To just save the timesheet and not submit it, click on the Save button. Timesheet is saved and is listed on the View Timesheets page. To open the timesheet again, click on the timesheet's name. To submit the timesheet, click on the Save and Submit button. Then on the notification that pops up, Click OK. The selected timesheet gets submitted and view timesheet page is displayed. From the view timesheets page, click on the timesheet status drop down and select submitted from the available options. All the submitted timesheets will be listed on the page. If there are errors in your timesheet, your host can reject it. Whenever a timesheet is rejected, you will receive an email notification including the reason for rejection. You will then need to amend and resubmit rejected timesheet. Click on the link in the notification email and log in. Timesheet opens up in edit mode, with status displayed as rejected. Click on the notes section to view the rejection reason and details of the person who rejected the timesheet. Make the required changes in the timesheet and then click on Save and Submit button to resubmit this timesheet. Then on the notification that pops up, click OK. The selected timesheet gets submitted and view timesheet page is displayed. On the Placement tab, you can view details of all your current active placements. It includes details such as client name, start date, end date, your pay cycle, job description and supervisor.
The Submit and Approve feature enables you to submit your timesheet, and have your supervisor approve it on the spot. To have your supervisor approve your timesheet on the spot, click Submit and Approve option on the Edit Timesheet page. Then on the notification that pops up, click OK. Supervisor Approval Login pop-up opens. Supervisor can then log in using their credential and then approve the timesheet on the spot. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. We hope this had helped you understand HI timesheets creation and submission process. If you have any questions, please call 1-300-652-723 or drop us an email at hiagaspayroll at hia.com.au.